Okay, a long flight, uh, 10 hours. Uh, what did you guys do to, to adjust and what did you do to entertain yourself on the flight? I mean, we tried to follow a little bit of a pattern coming over here, trying to get our sleep schedules right with what we're going to be having over here. I mean, a seven hour difference is a huge jump, especially forward. But uh, yeah, I mean, we kept each other entertained, tried to keep each other up at the right times and fall asleep at the right times. And I mean, it's been a fun trip so far, being able to bond with everybody and the excitement's overwhelming. And Israel as a country, uh, what's the vibe with the team and, and what, you know, what's sort of the first impression when you're walking out, off the plane? Excitement. It's like being able to be somewhere that you've never been and like most of us never have the experience to go to. Like without this, I don't think we come here necessarily for the majority of us. Being able to come to a place like this and experience a completely different culture is exciting to all of us. Anything. Eight time zone, what's it going to be like as an athlete to get your legs underneath you doing that many time zones and have you ever done it before? So eight time zones a little different. I haven't done eight time zones probably ever, um, but a couple time zones before, but seven hours plus, we're all from the New York area. That's it's quite a toll on your body, especially for the kind of older guys on the team. We have a young team, so I don't think it's going to be much of a concern for probably 90% of our team, so I think we're ready to go. We are a team Puerto Rico, but most of, basically all of our guys come from the United States. So everybody just has some type of Puerto Rican heritage, whether it be their parents, grandmother, something like that. Um, so it wasn't necessarily too hard to get the team together. We coach literally put a feelers out to anybody with Puerto Rican descent. And the amount of exposure and feedback that he got was tremendous, as you can see, with just the amount of press that this team's been getting and the vote of confidence that everybody from the lacrosse world really has been giving this team. Um, but we're super excited, and uh, we're definitely ready to go. So, Been around the sport a long time. What does it mean, you think, for a world championship to come to the Middle East to such a far departure from its roots in North America? Uh, I think it's great. Uh, I think the growth of the sport is fantastic. Uh, the fact that it's in, it's in the Middle East with a, an established uh, lacrosse, or professional lacrosse league, uh, I think will help jumpstart the uh, sport even more so, at least in Israel. Uh, but uh, it also gives some of the uh, countries that are otherwise not close to North America where the championships have been held in the past an opportunity, for, at least financially, uh, to better be able to uh, attend the games. So I think it's great that it's here.